Hey everyone, what's up? It's Dan here, Vivid Racing, and today we're going to show you how to flash via the OBD2 port the all new BMW F Series, which includes the M3, M4, M2, M235i, and any F Series that is a MEVD 17 ECU. So, this is a brand new tool that we're using with uh, Freeling Racing, so we're able to flash and code directly from the OBD2 port. So, let's check it out. So every VR tuned ECU flash comes with a VR team kit that connects to your laptop and to your car. So we're going to show you how that works. Inside the VR tune case we have the OBD2 port, the USB cable, a USB wrench so you can store your files, an awesome VR tune badge for your car, and of course the instructions card which has where to go, the password, and everything else you need for support. So the first thing we want to do is plug this into the OBD2 port on the BMW F80 M3. This is located on the left side of the uh, steering wheel, right by the edge here. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. All right, with that plugged in, we'll go ahead and plug in the USB cord. And that gets plugged into your computer. All right, when you turn the ignition on, so all the lights are on. So we got the key in. Make sure all our dash lights are on. Ignition switched on. So now we're gonna launch the program. And we're gonna do agree. Next. 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 It's identifying the vehicle. And with the BMW iFlash, it's automatically going to recognize the ECU type. So you'll see it'll pull up the Bosch MEVD 17.2.G. It'll also show you your VIN number. Now with the end user cable, you have to lock it to that. So you can tell, you can see right here, it gives you the instructions. So we're going to hit next. It's going to lock this VIN to the cable. Yes. Now the first step we need to do is save the coding. Coding controls all of your settings features from your lights, your windows, everything in here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that with diagnostics. So we're gonna do read coding data. And then we're gonna save this. We're gonna save it to a folder we have here. So now we can close out of the diagnostics. We can't actually read the ECU. We can read just the data area, but we've already compiled the original file. So what you would do is you would then send this screenshot to our VR tuned upload form on our installation page. And we would take the BTLD, the SWFL1, SWFL2, and we would create your tuned and original file. It might be an upgrade file. It might be the same file, depends on the number. So. We've already compiled this, so now we're going to go ahead and program the file. All right, once we finished uh, copying the encoding, we're now going to program the file. So when you click Program, it's going to remind you that you need to do the coding first. So you click No to proceed, Yes to abort. So if you click No, we can go ahead and select our file to begin programming. And you'll notice start going through the process, uh, erasing memory, programming. Uh, while you're doing this, you might see some engine lights on, which is okay. And it'll give you the percentage complete, along with the uh, approximate elapsed time. Now again, this is a four megabyte file, so it might take about 15 minutes. You wanna make sure your laptop is plugged in, uh, you have a battery charger on, antivirus, anything like that. You don't want anything to interrupt the programming process. That could uh, be fatal and have a, uh, an issue with the ECU. So make sure nothing inter interrupts the ECU process. Computer doesn't go to sleep, anything like that. Final countdown here. So we've got five seconds, four, three, two, and one. All right, so we'll turn the ignition off. Ignition is off.
Now once this toggles down all the way, it'll tell us the ECU has been flashed successfully. All right, so now let's turn the ignition back on. And like it says, we'll recode the ECU. So let's turn that back on. Just so all the lights are on on the dash. Okay. Go back in here to diagnostic, write coding. We want to choose that file that we saved. And coding has been successfully written. Now we can close this and start the car. All right, everything's been programmed, so now it's time to start the car and make sure everything works. And looks like we're good, got no lights. And we're complete, so that's how you flash your car with the new iFlash. Uh, available from VR tuned flashing tuned and original files no more need to pull the ECU out um, the iFlash is made by Freeling Racing uh, which has available all types of different tools for dealers masters and uh, end users and dealer tools so yeah if you have any questions leave us a comment you can email tuning at vividracing.com and of course you can order your tuning at vividracing.com Thanks. See you at the next one.